It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 276 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Brandon. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron, the champ's next challenge starts now. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Balor Club has been disbanded. The only support this man needs is from his family in the Judgment Day. I hate to agree with you on this, Corey, but you're right. Balor has never been more dangerous, more competitive, more successful than he's been with the Judgment Day. He added the undisputed tag titles to his resume as part of the Judgment Day, and Balor's leadership has brought championship glory to every member of the group. And the Prince has also taken his rightful spot back in the main event picture where he so rightfully belongs. It is time to bow to the prince or face his judgment. The one, the only, Logan Paul. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan we knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul has for sports entertainment. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in boxing. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in WWE. Logan Paul is clearly fearless. He's already earned victories over Rey Mysterio and The Miz. And Paul could add another milestone win to his resume tonight. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And at a combined weight of 725 pounds, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch, the brawling Bruce. 
That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. Well, here is something that I would never have expected to see. The WWE Universal Champion and Logan Paul are teaming up. That's right, Cole. It shows how gracious Logan Paul is to try to team up with the champ after all their history together. Speaking of history, how historic would it be for Logan Paul to join Team SmackDown at Survivor Series? It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped the finger. You can't let yourself get put in positions like that. You will get twisted and torqued. Slam from behind, an inverted scoop slam. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. And Sheamus having the fight brought right to him there. You can tell Logan was zero in on his opponent. Oh my goodness. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Love him or hate him, Paul demands a reaction. Power slam. Stop after stop after stop. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Just tossed. She could airline mouse for that. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Ooh. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. What an unexpected show of strength from that attack. Control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. I don't have you walking funny. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Dominator. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. In the bow. Oof. On the move. Picking up speed. Oh. He's reeling, slowly getting up. What an amazing six man tag match. Here are your winners. Brandon. Ben Bowen. can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. I hate a countout. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.